How you doing, Scotty Bear, back with another video, and today we are going to talk backpacks. I travel a lot, so I have been through lots of backpacks. One of the most annoying things about backpacks is when you buy one and you don't like it, you don't like the uh, the access to the pockets, you don't like how the storage works, you don't like that it doesn't have ample storage. Most backpacks excel in one uh, area or another, either with electronic goods, waterproofness, uh, storage, but it maybe doesn't cover it all. Today I'm gonna talk about a backpack that you can get a hold of and a backpack that was kind of an amazing buy. So uh, first of all, we'll start off with the backpack that is an amazing buy. And that would be this backpack. Uh, this backpack I picked up in China. Actually, it's a very, very good backpack, um, amazingly enough. Actually, that's what attracted me to the backpack. I was like, wow, I was doing the conversion back and forth. Uh, I was very new to uh, Chinese currency, so I was like, are you guys joking me? And this backpack cost me about 16 bucks. I... Uh, I'd say this backpack has probably stood up more than uh, any backpack that I've had. As you can kind of see, I don't know how well the camera does, but it has stood up well in pretty hardcore conditions. I put backpacks through a lot and, uh, you know, just like anything, maybe your favorite shirt, maybe, uh, you know, um, you know, a car, whatever, you know, things wear out and so do backpacks and, and, you know, finding a backpack that works well is, is, uh, difficult. Actually, there is quite a market around, uh, you know, nomadic backpacks. Uh, you know, for me, I, I, when I started looking for a backpack, I went and, you know, I was like, man, where do you find backpacks? And, you know, uh, book bags, there are quite a bit of difference. There's uh, book bags, of course, and then there's backpacks uh, that you use for hiking and stuff, and then traveling bags, and then business bags, and so on. Uh, you know, I needed everything. I needed computer, I needed waterproofness, I needed good storage, I needed, uh, you know, good size. A lot of backpacks are too small, a lot of backpacks are big and clunky too big. And uh, this backpack here, I think, is pretty much the holy grail of backpacks. It actually is at least a little bit in, um, you know, that ballpark. Um, you know, uh, this backpack is put out by Oakley. I, this is a non-paid endorsement. I have the same struggles you do, and that is trying to figure out, man, what kind of backpack do I need at looking online and it's hard to tell what uh, it, it offers. So, uh, you know, I'm not really gonna go over like everything, like a walkthrough, everything, but uh, I'm gonna point to a couple notable things that I like about this backpack, and that is uh, travel squares. Uh, this is my travel squares, or some of them. And, uh, you know, it has a good amount of space. Like you can get a, quite a bit in here. Plus uh, it has a, like a trapdoor feature on the bottom where you can actually uh, expand that out some. I don't know, again, I don't know how much you can see here on the camera, I'm trying to show you. Uh, the backpack is called the kitchen sink for a pretty good reason. I mean, this is one tough fucking backpack uh, and it, I feel, has a lot of great features on it. Um, you know, one being very waterproof, two being very, uh, I mean, this is military grade stuff. And plus with the thought of being waterproof too with the flaps and the, you know, kind of the roll off water situation. Plus, you know, and again, it's gotta be super tech, uh, you know, you know, capable too. And this has a side door and an inside access to a very secure uh, area for your laptop. Plus again, that conscious effort to keep that water going down the side, which is, you know, the main thing I look at in a backpack, water um, to, uh, you know, being able to go on like a two or three day trip with the backpack, plus taking all the tech gear, plus, uh, you know, good access because that's the other thing in backpacks, uh, you get horrible access, you find yourself scrambling through the, 
pockets trying to figure out where you put that and um, you know that is very annoying I you know I, I run with a fair amount I have expensive backpacks uh, so here's the nice fuzzy socks where my feet are never ever cold um, and uh, being able to find a backpack that worked for me uh, you know and then being able to come back and get another one if you need it but uh, this here is about as uh, hardcore of a backpack as you can even um, you can see here this is uh, probably aluminum but uh, aluminum handle and uh, pretty uh, sturdy uh, you know over the shoulder straps and stabilizers plus a uh, you know stabilizer uh, for your waist too that you can actually kind of shove up in that uh, you know extra compartment when you're not using however uh, this is the kitchen sink uh, again not really endorsement just uh, I am like you you look online you're like uh, 40 liters where they come up with this shit uh, it's 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 very hard and then they kind of gauge uh, how your lifestyle fits that backpack and being able to use it with what you're trying to do thank you for watching this video have a wonderful Friday